Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Ditch Auto, and this video is all about whether or not you can edit photos on a two-in-one. So a two-in-one is a laptop that is basically convertible. It is a laptop or it's a tablet, so it folds over into a tablet. Um, and this whole two-in-one craze has been, uh, you know, a thing for the last um, several years. And two-in-ones have became you know, very prominent because they're really fantastic these days. I mean, they're extremely thin and mobile and portable. I have a full, uh, my full thoughts and a review of this particular two-in-one over on State Attack. So make sure to check out a link in the description if you're interested in this specific laptop. Uh, this here is the HP Spectra 360 or Spectre 360 convertible. So it's a, um, a full two-in-one tablet device that runs Windows 10. It has a dual core i7 uh, processor, the 7500U, which is um, you know the most uh, modern and probably high powered processor that they're putting in most of the two-in-one devices. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 hard drive. So it has all the things that most laptops have. Uh, it's not a quad core like you know your MacBook Pro uh, 15 inch would have. This is more like what your MacBook 13 inch would have, an i7 dual core, um, or even you know your Dell XPS 13, or you know something like that. Um, but a two-in-one is unique because it, they all are typically touchscreen. Uh, because what would be the point of having a, a tablet-oriented device if you couldn't use a touchscreen? Um, and, uh, and most of them these days support a stylus, and not just a, uh, a spongy, you know, little bubble stylus, but an actual stylus with Windows Ink technology. So that allows you to do, you know, pretty much anything on the device um, using a stylus, which is great, and the stylus works fantastic. So let's talk about can you edit on one of these devices because we have Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop that most of us spend a lot of time in and we're used to, you know, using a mouse or using the trackpad to click and drag sliders around and maybe we're, um, you know, doing some some clone stamping or whatever and clicking and, and just doing stuff like that. Um, but, you know, there's the whole concept of maybe doing that with a pen and there's Wacom tablets that you can get where you can draw down here and look at the screen. But for me, I've always preferred drawing on the actual image. You know, I'm not an artist. I struggle at drawing and stuff like that. But for me, it makes it so much easier when I can put the pen on something because otherwise with a, with a Wacom pad or something like that, you're, it's like a mouse, but you're using a pen. So it's just, it's not really much different than using a mouse and I could never get that into my workflow. Having a touch screen with Windows Ink and this little guy here, uh, which this stylus comes with this laptop, um, definitely is great. So we're not gonna talk about can you edit with, on a two-in-one using the trackpad the normal way that you can edit on any laptop because of course you can edit with the trackpad, you know, and, and you know, maybe using keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that, of course. Um, you know, is this a powerful enough device for using Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop? Yes, kind of. You're not going to do any heavy lifting. Like if I was to import 2000 images from shooting a wedding on this device and try and edit all those and export them, I would definitely be more served to use something with a quad core processor, uh, something with more horsepower, maybe even a desktop computer uh, that has the power to process that many images. But this actually is pretty powerful for such a tiny package. So let's go ahead and take a look at the different ways that you can use this. So right now what I've done is rotated it, but I haven't folded it all the way down. Now this seems a little floppy and unstable, but if I brace my hand behind it, I'm able to do a lot more um, and, it, and it adds some support. It's still not perfect, but then I can kind of get down here and I can start doing things. I can drag some sliders around, um, you know, just make some adjustments. Uh, and then also if I wanted to, maybe there's an imperfection here, so I wanted to go and grab spot healing and maybe just, you know, kind of paint around in a little area to do some spot healing. I could definitely do that. Um, if I wanted to do some cropping, I could tap on the crop tool and drag that in and just kind of, you know, do anything that I needed to do here. Um, and it's, it's really fantastic the way that this little pen works. 
And this is not in tablet mode yet. If I wanted to go into tablet mode with Adobe Lightroom, because you have tablet mode on Windows, and there's a tablet mode for Windows, which kind of changes the Windows experience, but there's also a tablet mode in Lightroom. And so if I go into tablet mode, I'm gonna tap on yes and go into tablet mode, it's gonna change the user interface a little bit here and make it easier to use uh, with you know, probably your finger. I mean, I feel like tablet mode takes a little bit away from what you could do with the stylus because now you have these big boxes that you can tap in and try different things. Big sliders that I can adjust and whatnot. Um, then it makes it easy to do that with a finger. I can also do it with a stylus, uh, but in tablet mode, it definitely um, blurs the line between using a stylus and using your fingertip. Click on the little X and it's gonna take us back to our standard um, Lightroom mode here. So here, you know, we're able just to do fine adjustments and stuff, like for example, if we wanted to do something with the, um, the adjustment brush, I can go and choose what I wanted to adjust here and then just kind of paint in and this is really pressure sensitive as well, which is great. So I'm able to paint in over here and kind of darken this area. And it's great because now in the past, when we do those local adjustments, we're using the mouse and we're clicking and painting and it's not giving us any pressure sensitivity. We have to change those things um, on the fly ourselves. But with the pressure sensitivity of the pin here, I can press down really hard and paint heavily or I could press lightly and paint lightly and actually have more control, which is fantastic. It's not something that we were able to do um, without using a stylus. So that adds to the experience here in Lightroom. Overall, you know, the main question is, can you edit? Can you, you know, what's the pros and cons, I guess, of having a two-in-one device for editing and working on your photos? Now, the cons, of course, are going to be that the device is a little bit lower powered than the, the more higher end laptops that you can get, the quad core processor. Some of them now are, are coming with 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and of course, those uh, quad core processors, typically the RAM is even a little bit faster. Even if you only got 16 gigs of RAM on a quad core machine or 16 gigs of RAM on a machine like this, the quad core machine is probably going to have slightly faster RAM. Um, and then, you know, you might be able to get bigger hard drives and stuff like that in, uh, in a bigger laptop. But what this is, is extremely, extremely mobile and easy to use. Now, if I go into full tablet mode here, where, you know, the screen is completely folded down, I can hold it in my hand like this uh, and do my edits. I, I just really love being able to connect with my images this way where when I'm on a, a computer or a trackpad using a mouse or the or whatever, it's just not the same experience as when you have a pen and you're able to get in there and just make those adjustments strategically and uh, more precise with a pen like this. Um, so yes, you can edit on a two-in-one. You can edit your photos on a two-in-one. Um, yes, there are gonna be maybe a few little limitations here and there uh, when it comes to the amount of power that the machine is gonna have, um, but what this gives you is the portability and also the ability to use a stylus or something like that to get more precise. Lightroom and Photoshop have never been more tablet friendly. Uh, so definitely um, there's more changes coming there, I'm sure, as they continue to work on those uh, pieces of software to make them more accessible for those of us that want to edit in a tablet orientation. And then most devices these days are coming with support for these things. So software like Lightroom and Photoshop are gonna be adding in even more support. Um, but having this type of functionality is definitely a pro because you're not gonna get that on a full-size laptop. Sure, you can get a touchscreen laptop that might have stylus support, but you're not gonna be able to fold it over into you know, something like this that you can paint on or fold it down into something that you can hold in your hand. Uh, you're just not gonna be able to get that. You're gonna be reaching over a keyboard and touching a screen that's only going to fold a certain uh, a certain amount, maybe this much. You'll be lucky if you get a laptop that folds down that much. Uh, you won't find a laptop unless you get a two-in-one that can lay completely flat like this or fold over completely into a tablet. That is where the real power in using a device like this for photo editing comes into play. So check out the links in the description below. Uh, this 
particular laptop does a great job with Lightroom. The pen is fantastic. The screen on this laptop is fantastic. You could check out my review. Uh, the link is below for that as well, or just head on over to Amazon and check out uh, this laptop if you're interested in learning more. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you have any thoughts about editing in Lightroom and Photoshop with a stylus, uh, let's talk about it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video or a subscribe if you wanna see more videos from us and be notified. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time on Ditch Auto.